I'm back again with some hot cakes, like hot cake guys, like hot cakes. We are all looking for visa sponsorship and guys, this is the page where you ought to be. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amaka, but you can call me Miss Mikey. On this channel, I share information that can help you migrate to the United Kingdom. I also share job openings that I come across and I give share information with students, especially if you're an international student coming to the country. And you know, any other good stuff I lay my hands on. So if it's the first time you see my channel, you are highly welcome. Do well to click on the subscribe button so you can be a part of my local community. And if you're a returning subscriber, I already appreciate you. Thanks for the love. I appreciate you guys like so, so much. There are a lot of job sites in the UK that you can find thousands of jobs on a daily basis, but not all of them sponsors visas. So we are concerned about the job sites that are going to give us a certificate of sponsorship as overseas applicants. So I've gone a step ahead to look for job sites that is stable for us when we are looking for jobs. And the very first on my list is TES.com. I've spoken about them countless times and this one is tailored to teachers those in the teaching sectors so if you're a teacher and you're looking for a job then you should be on that site upload your cv and the good thing is that with tes you don't have to always upload your cv unfortunately it would have been um, practical for me to illustrate how this thing works but i just have to make this video as i don't have my system with me at the moment i'm sorry about that so TES.com is where teachers should be. It's a very good site for you. And they also prep you for your interview with your prospective employer. The next is Stack Overflow. This one is good for people in the IT sector. And we all know that IT is in short supply in the UK and it's also in high demand. So if you're in the IT sector, Stack Overflow is very, very good for you. We also have NHS. NHS is not just for people in the medical sector. It's a public sector that also recruits people in the IT sector because my friend got a job as a data analyst with NHS. So guys, aside from people in the medical profession, if you're in the IT sector, then make your application with NHS today. We also have Indeed. I'm sure many of us have heard about Indeed. Indeed is a very big platform, a very good recruitment platform. Now the good thing about Indeed is that when you upload your CV and your CV is really, really packed, Guys, the recruiters will definitely come looking for you. You don't have to chase them because it will be circulated around the UK recruiters. So if your CV meets their requirements, then they might be the one to send you the next email. So guys, indeed, go and upload your CV there today. We also have Read. Read is also another very good platform where you need to upload your CV. It's very useful. Read it before you make your application and you can filter it by sector and you can filter it by location. So Indeed and Read are very good job sites for you to make your application, especially if you are looking for jobs that can sponsor your visa. We also have gov.uk oblique find a job. Yes, on their official website, they also advertise jobs on a daily basis. And it means that the people that have been advertised, they're obviously among the people that are licensed sponsors. So you should target them. If you meet their qualification, if your career, if your field is being advertised there, then make your application. Go to gov.uk. I'm going to leave the link also in the description box. Okay, from today, you can start looking that up and see whether you can find a job that suits your profile. We also have UKTS sponsors. This is very, very good. Now, UKTS sponsors... It's just like um, the list of licensed sponsors, but this particular one, they've broken it down into sectors for you. So when you go, you filter it by your own um, career or your own field. Now, when you do that, it brings out the list of licensed sponsors. When you see the list of licensed sponsors, you also see their official website there. So guys, now for you to now click on their website, be on their page, go to their career and look for a job. Like This is like the easiest place and the easiest one for you so uks sponsors is very good because all of them are licensed sponsors also have financial career so if you're in the finance sectors investment banking then you should be on that particular website and lastly guys linkedin if you don't have a linkedin profile please do so now i'm going to have someone on my channel very soon who's going to put us through on how to use linkedin how to update your profile so it's attractive for prospective employers because LinkedIn like the biggest platform for getting jobs but also I want you to know that whilst these people are licensed to sponsor not all the job they advertise give out certificate of sponsorship so it's always good for you to take your time 
and read the job description before you make your application. Thank you so much and I hope you found this useful. It's my little research and I thought to share with you. So guys, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do us click on the subscribe button and be a part of my local community. As always, thank you for watching my video. And if I have more useful information, I'll definitely share with you. And if you have more questions for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll do my very best to answer. See you guys in my next video.